Hey guys, the sun is just setting on Token 2049, the first day. Now I've seen some incredible watches around here today that make my Omega Seamaster 1948 look like a kid's toy. So we're gonna go around and we're gonna have a see what made them rich. Let's go. Hi sir, so I'm with Cointelegraph YouTube. We're just wondering, because of your beautiful watch, what made you rich? I sold a cybersecurity company that I worked on uh, 28 years. So I wanted to ask you, what made you so rich? Uh, investing in traditional finance markets. Which ones? Uh, stock markets, option selling. Yeah, and yourself sir? Investing in crypto, meme coins only. <laughs> there we go, the yin and the yang, let's go. The yin and the yang, completely different. <laughs> What made you so rich? Well, I'm, uh, unfortunately, well, it was good. I actually worked in a hedge fund quite early and uh, managed to become pretty successful within a short period of time. So I took a lot of hard work. Hedge fund money. <laughs> How do you get so rich? Um, by crypto. Which crypto? Um, uh, there's a good AI project called Enk AI. It's um, like ChatGBT, but it is uh, uncensored and decentralized. Amazing. Oh, yeah. We noticed you have an incredible watch, so we're just wondering what made you so rich? <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been running this project for a few years and uh, things have been quite good over the last few months. The thing is, like, I've invested so much in the project that I thought I'd, I need to treat myself at some point, you know? How many Bitcoin you have? Uh, a few. A few, he's rich. Yes. <laughs> he's rich. What made you so rich? <laughs> Trading. <laughs> Trading what? Well, I trade futures. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, and yourself, sir? I would say being lucky. Being lucky? Yeah, being in the right place with the right time, with the right people. Good stuff. Luck and futures contracts. Let's go. What made you so rich? What made me so rich? By buying uh, Bitcoin in 2014. Yeah? Yeah. You still got it? Yeah. Still got it. Still got it. Diamond hands. Okay, so my story in 2020, stock market crashes. Uh, I got a lot of money from a lawsuit right at that time. I put the majority in Tesla. It does great. I take my profits into crypto, so that's why there's a circuit board inside of it. And it's kind of this trophy, you know what I mean? I joined crypto in 2013. Yeah? So it is 11 years now. And you still got Bitcoin or you sold? Of course. Yeah? I have Bitcoin rings, so I have Bitcoins. Uh, look at that. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Hi guys, sorry to interject, it's Bradley from Cointelegraph. We noticed you have an incredible Seamaster and we were wondering what made you so rich. Uh, I actually got it uh, by uh, selling some Litecoin. Yeah? Yeah, but when it was 50. Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Bradley from Cointelegraph. Just wondering, that is an amazing watch. Oh, Just thanks. wondering what made you so rich. Ah. Uh. Bitcoin 6, 6K, like, yeah. uh, in, in 2018, I went, like, hard on it. Cool. Amazing. It. We just wanted to say you have an amazing Datejust 41, and we wanted to ask you, how did you get so rich? Uh, I invested in this uh, dog project. Yeah? In the day. No, just joking. <laughs> and what are you rocking today? Well, you know, I don't have a very expensive watch, so I'm still trying to That's be good rich. enough. That's trying good enough. What made you uh, <laughs> enough money to buy that? <laughs> My startup in building infrastructure for developers to have all the tools in one place to build AI dApps. Amazing. Thanks, guys. Thank Thanks a lot. I've been in crypto since 2018. Yeah. So a Rolex is not that expensive. Then, then. <laughs> Where's he gone? A Rolex is not that expensive. What can we say after today? Well, most of the people that have nice watches either have 100 Bitcoin in their wallet or they've sold some company. So maybe a nice watch does mean lots of money. But how they get that money, well, that varies. People have said it's by happiness, maybe social reasons, or it could be as simple as buying crypto uh, in the past and then coming back to the future and selling it. So those are the conclusions. I'm Bradley, this is Cointelegraph. Thanks for joining us today. See you later.